YouTube. I just wanted to share some revelations out of John 14. Now, John is highly revelatory in his teachings, and he brings an insight that uh, others in the scriptures, they have the same revelation, but his is more in depth. Um, a lot of times it's Jesus' exact words. He's speaking out of love. The Lord, the way the Lord teaches uh, these revelations is through love. And uh, I just want to share some insight. Now, you might or might not, most people don't have a background of revelatory things. And you might not pick up what, what I'm trying to tell you on the onset. Okay, Just uh, stick with it. And the Lord, like, Matthew, like uh, Luke 24 says, the Lord opens your understanding that you might understand the scriptures. Okay, I'm just an intricate part, um, a uh, minor part in that, okay? Just keep that in mind. Um, right off the bat, this morning, uh, John 14, 20, I was still sleeping. The Lord put this on my mind, and I knew I was going to be making a video on that today. <laughs> and it, it talks about, here it is, uh, John 14, 20, At that day you shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Right there, he's, I mean, this in a nutshell, I mean, I've never seen a scripture like this one. This is very unique, uh, even to my studies, and I'm, I'm, I've am i studied immensely this stuff. But uh, I'm going to read it again. I'm going to tell you what it is. And, and that day you shall know that I am in my Father. What is he telling you? Okay? He's telling you that the Spirit of the Father is in him. Okay? And ye are in me. Now, he's talking to his disciples, and there's a bunch of people, minimum 12, probably 30, you know, their family members, Mary, you know, they were a big group. Jesus was very popular amongst his family and his disciples' families, okay? Somebody's making noise in my room. I am in my Father, and ye in me. So he's telling them he's in them, but he's standing right there, see? He's telling him he's the Spirit, okay? And I in you. All right there. Or you are in me. I'm sorry. I missed that one up. But ye and me, he's telling him he's the Father. Because the Father is inhabiting all of eternity. Maybe I should have prefaced this um, video. But if you look at Isaiah 9-6, it talks about Jesus talking, or Isaiah prophesying that the Son born is the everlasting Father, the mighty God, the very Christ. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let me go through this again. And, and that day you shall know that I am in my Father. Okay, so he's in the Father. That He's telling you he's the Son. Everybody knows that. That's not a big surprise. And ye are in me. Now he's telling them he's the Father. Because they could not be in him if he's not all-encompassing, all-surrounding. They could, right? And I in you. Now he's telling them about the infilling of the Holy Ghost when he will be in them. And this is not the only place he says these revelations, but it's the only place that I have found, and I'm going to be keeping my eyes open, that he says all three in one. Okay? One more time. You probably don't even get it. You might not even get it. At that day you shall know that I am in my Father. Okay? He's telling you he's the Son. Because the Father's all encompassed. And you are in me. Now he's telling you, he is the Father because you're in his inhabitants, which is everywhere. That's the, the Father's inhabitants is everywhere. There's no place where the Father is not. He is in heaven. He is in hell, according to David's psalm. He's in the universes that we don't even know about. And I in you. He is the infilling of the Holy Ghost. All in one scripture. That's the revelation God put in my mind today to teach. God bless you. If you got any questions, put them in the comments. That's why the apostles baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Because he is the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. According to Matthew 20 and 19. God bless you.